Hi, this is a report I'm giving for my Business 201 class, Business Communications, and my Educational Technology 5 class, Internet Resources for Online Learners. This report in the area of professional development, bad advice versus good advice for preparing how to present or perform. When I did my survey, I had 84 respondents, and just over half of them had never had any training in presenting or performing. 55.95%, 47 out of 84. In fact, there was one person who had never presented before. If there are any of you who are listening to this who have not had any training in presenting, you will like what I'm about to tell you. Bad advice is bad because it's only pieces. It's not part of a well-thought-out plan. And three bad pieces of advice start with, imagine your audience naked. Then there's breathe deeply. Your body's oxygenated, but your mind is maybe still paralyzed with fear. And how about mental labeling? Do you call this experience stage fright or stage excitement? Because each has its consequences. If you think that this is fright, you're going to start the fear mechanism in your body. If you think it's excitement, you're going to be anticipating it and you're going to be joyful. Although it is a good piece of advice, you probably are thinking, well, I need something more than just that. And that's why it's a bad piece of advice, because they're only pieces. They're not part of a well thought out plan. Good advice is to put yourself in eustress, not distress. Yes, that is a new word, and I will explain it. Two, choose to be present. And three, of course, thoroughly prepare. A new way to think about stress. The connotation of stress, that is the way we think about it, is usually negative. Like, oh, I'm under so much stress, or this is really stressful, or fill in the blank. But stress, the denotation, according to the dictionary, is actually neutral. Dr. Hans Selye, a pioneer in the 1930s in what would later be called stress management, defined stress as a nonspecific response of the body to any demand, whether it be caused by or results in pleasant or unpleasant conditions. Or another way to say it, a call to reaction because of what happens to you. Positive or negative. Now, I hardly have to talk about distress, but we know that it's caused by fears, worry about the future, regret about the past, unrealistic perfectionist expectations, and it causes anxiety and decreased performance. We don't like distress. Eustress, however, is something that you feel when you're doing something you enjoy. It is a term coined by Dr. Hans Selye. The U is from the Greek for good. It motivates. It focuses energy and it causes anticipation and improved performance. We like your stress. Now think of the song, My Favorite Things, from the musical The Sound of Music. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. And you're thinking, oh, it's just a silly song. No, it, it really isn't. If you think about the lyrics and what the message of the story is trying to get across, it is a subtle presentation on a way for eustress to battle distress. Think about the words. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. See what I mean? One of the books that I came across in my study on stress management was The Inner Game of Stress by W. Timothy Galway, whose um, first book was The Inner Game of Tennis. Very, very good book about teaching how to perform um, to the best of your ability. And its main concept is that performance equals potential minus interferences. In the book he says we have two selves. Self one is our mind. It gives instructions and its expectations of right or wrong. It's called, it can be called the distress maker. And it is relentless in our dialogue that promotes negativity and tries to manifest false evidence appearing real. And in the equation, it is the interferences. Self two is the body that does the activity. It works like a supercomputer. In the equation, it is the potential. So performance equals potential minus interferences. The question is, how do we minus interferences? We silence self one. We do this by one, putting yourself in eustress. Find the joy of your message or what you are doing. Because when you enjoy giving your message, 
Your audience will enjoy receiving it. Think on your favorite things. Also, choose to be present. Be here now. The past is gone. The future is not yet. All there is, is now. And while you're being present, you can use deliberate calm, which is to analyze the situation and act according to your innate inner resources. So to recap, in order to become a competent, confident presenter, do not rely on pieces of advice. Go with a plan, which is to put yourself in eustress, choose to be present, and thoroughly prepare. Thank you.